Hello, I'm Megan, also known as Shy Brown Eyes 3. I um, have started Twitch streaming recently, and I've been Twitch streaming for a couple weeks, but it's been a while since my last stream. Um, I have some family things going on, so I was unable to stream for a little bit. However, um, I did want to start making some YouTube content to kind of supplement the content that I do on, on stream, and um, what best way to do that than with a Sims 4 speed build since I have a couple streams of Sims 4 already and I have gotten really into building lately like I used to never be into building I used to hate it I would I would get houses from the gallery and that was it I would do the bare minimum I would maybe renovate the houses that were already there also my dog is going crazy right now <laughs> she's trying to get my attention she's like oh I see you talking to a camera let me let me get your attention um anyway um, I, to get inspiration for this house, I just searched up, um, house stock image, and it was the first image that popped up, the one that you see over there in the corner. Um, and so yeah, let's get this started. Um, I spent a lot of time at the beginning of this, making sure that I made the outside of the house look as much like the stock image as possible. But I kind of didn't think about size or like placement of rooms or anything. And I kind of ran into a little bit of an issue there, which you'll see later me doing and redoing rooms and layouts over and over again because I could not decide um, what I wanted to do. Now, um, just like with all of my other speed builds and all of my Twitch builds um, and Twitch creative sims and all that kind of stuff. Um, it will be in the gallery. This house will be in the gallery. You can find me at brown eyes three with a Z and an O and a zero instead of an O. I'll, I'll drop the link below so that you're not confused because it's a little confusing. Um, anyway, yeah, I was very pleased with how this turned out. I was pleasantly surprised. I did not think it would turn out as well as it did considering this is only my second Sims build, and looking back at my first build, like my second real Sims build, like looking back at my first build was a disaster. And like this looks much more like a like a nice house you would see in a neighborhood. Like the other build I had, not not okay, <laughs> not okay. Um, one other thing I struggled with too was window placement. Like I wanted to have all these big windows in the house, but um, it was hard because then the walls would be in the middle of these big windows. Also, my dog is like under my desk trying to get my attention. Hey, baby. Hey, I am right here. Um, if you guys want to be my dog, you can. Let me scoot back so I can pull her up in my lap because I think she just wants attention. Um, come here, baby. Oh, <laughs> she hit her head on the desk. Come here. What is on you? Up you go. Her name is Blair. Um, at the pound, they said she was a lab, but I know for a fact she's definitely mixed with something. And she's too squirmy to be up here with me now, but you guys met my dog. Um, but yeah, I also spent a lot of time, um, oh my gosh, she just like zoomed. I also spent a lot of time working on the backyard because I wanted this house to maybe eventually be used in a legacy challenge or something of the sort where there's just a big family living in it and there's a lot of stuff outdoors for the kids and the grandparents and a place for them to do like family cookouts and stuff like that um so i spent a lot of time working on the backyard um that that was for a second there i showed what the house looked like and i just you know again have very little experience building houses so this one's a little rocky but as time goes on, I'm sure they will get much better. I redid the layout of this house quite a few times. Like, this was the first layout that I did, and then I hated it. And so I redid it, and then I hated that one, and then I redid it again. And then that was finally the one I stayed with. Um, but yeah. Anyway. <laughs> it's It's been fun figuring things out, and it's been a lot of fun, like, just taking a couple hours to just build a house even though I'm not quite sure I know what I'm doing um, 
the wall height for this house was frustrating because in order for me to have cabinets it really kind of needed to be the low like the small wall height but in order for the windows to work the way that I wanted them to work it needed to be medium wall height same with the front door so it took a lot of like figuring out how I wanted the kitchen to look because the kitchen looked very bare without um, the cabinets because I've gotten into the habit of using cabinets all the time um, at first I never used the top cabinets like I thought my boyfriend was crazy because he always uses top cabinets and then I realized that's why my kitchens always look so bare so the pack that I'm using here is actually the um, country kitchen kit and it's one of my favorite packs because I love designing kitchens in the sims even if I have no idea what I'm doing I love designing the kitchens. That's one of my favorite parts. Um, and so I I tried to use that for this one because it, it is a newer kit and I was so excited when it came out, like when I saw the images for it. Beautiful. I loved it. Um, also, if anyone has any suggestions for CC that has really nice curtains, let me know. <laughs> Because the curtain selection in The Sims is awful. I uh, I hate having the windows bare because then it just looks weird on the wall. Even though, like, you know, in real life, you would have bare windows. But in real life, you would also probably have blinds or something. <sighs> Sorry, I had to yawn for a second. Um... Also, if you guys don't know, I found this out recently, even though I've been playing Sims since I was a child. Um, I didn't even know you could alt place things. Like, I didn't know you could put BB move objects in the cheat bar. I, I also didn't really know what cheats were because I was a, like, sheltered child. So I just played Sims the way you play Sims. <laughs> no cheats and just trying to live. And my Sims would die a lot because, you know... I didn't know what I was doing at 10 years old. Um, but yeah. Also, I've been having issues with my game where like if I place windows down, it'll just be like a black hole and then it won't recognize that the window is there when you try to like place um, like planter boxes underneath them or something. So that's been a little frustrating. But I also, I don't know how much you guys have played with Nifty Knitting, but it's adorable. I love their Plopsy, which is basically Etsy. Um, and the rocking chairs. I love the rocking chairs. And your Sims can get, like, mood boosts from the rocking chairs where they're like, Oh, I'm thinking about memories of my childhood. Like, I was playing on a save once where I was doing, like, a family, like, a multi-generational family. And I had the grandma, like, sitting in the rocking chair. And then, like, she got the mood lit that was, like, oh, warmed by by memories. <laughs> and then, like, your sim can share those memories with other people. So she went to, like, go talk to her son about, like, her memories from when he was a child and stuff. It was the cutest thing ever. And I loved it. I love, I love playing in households that have a lot of, like, family members. Because it's nice. Because the sims always have people to talk to. And also, like, in real life, like, a lot of times there are people who will live in multi-generational households. So, like, it's not that far off. It's just so hard to deal with in The Sims because your Sims are stupid and they, they won't help themselves. And then your Sims will be, like, dying and you're like, what is happening? It's because you have eight Sims in the household and no way to, no way to make them not unhappy. Um, I also put a little, instead of putting an actual office in this house, I put a little desk area in the living room in the little nook of the stairs, um, which was something new I was trying out. Usually I try to put like an actual office room because in The Sims, unlike real life, I mean, sort of like real life, I guess. <sighs> Sorry, in The Sims, like you really kind of need an office so you can build the skills because you really need a bookshelf and you really need a computer and at least one skill building activity. Um, so having an office is nice. They have a room dedicated to that. Um, but I didn't want to have to do that in this house, especially once I realized the size of it and how I wanted to do the rooms. So I just kind of made a makeshift desk in the corner. 
Um, and there's a desk, and there is a, um, what's it called? Bookshelf. So then everything your sim needs is right there. And then they also have, like, the TV and stuff. I put some fake diplomas on the wall and a, um, family, what's it called? Family bulletin board. Because I love that they added that in with, um, Parenthood. I think it was with Parenthood. Um, where you can, like, set a curfew for your sims and everything. Because... I played a lot of Sims 2 and stuff, but I was never, like, I didn't have any of the packs. I just had the base game back in the day when I had Sims 2. And Sims 3 didn't work on the computer I had at the time. So anytime I got to play Sims 3 was whenever I would go to a friend's house and they had it. So it was nice, like, being able to do that because my friend also had a couple of the packs. Um, and I remember, like, watching YouTube videos and stuff of people playing it. But... I didn't play it like super religiously because again my computer was not great at the time um anyway here is my living room well you can kind of see it I decided to go with like a pink and blue and yellow theme to make it really bright and airy so then it just feels welcoming and like warm so then you go in there and you can just like sink into the couch and be like uh I just I can totally relax now <laughs> you know just like a really warm family room like you know, that's the kind of room that your Sims would go in and they would be playing Mario Kart if Mario Kart existed in The Sims. Like, me and my family, we were playing Mario Party. No, not Mario Kart. Mario Kart and Mario Party are not the same thing. But we were playing Mario Party and it was... My family's so competitive, so it was hilarious. But it was so much fun. Um, I tried to make this first bathroom pink, but the pink did not quite work out the way I wanted to because I wanted to have that like stereotypical shower bath combo that you would see in like a typical like suburban American home you know but I didn't like how the pink looked against the white walls and so I just didn't do that I've also gotten into the habit of if I have houses that are two stories oh are you okay dog um but <laughs> she's fine she was just coughing for some reason but I got into the habit of if I have a house with two stories usually in the little like hallway area that the two stories creates once you start setting up the rooms I'll put a laundry room there because it's just such a nice little spot to just put it back and because in the sims you don't have cars and you can't really make real garages I mean you can make garages that sort like rooms that sort of look like garages but since you can't really make a real garage and you know in the garage would be where a laundry room would usually be unless you have a fancy house um i just put it in the hallway and now here i am making a child's room um using the new bunk beds which are amazing i still have yet to really do a lot of gameplay with them but i love them so far i love that there's so many customization options um, for this sim, I put a dresser underneath the bunk bed, so then that way it's not just... Because I didn't want this house to be a house for too many sims. Like, the bedroom downstairs, I was thinking maybe a grandparent, and then the bedroom upstairs, the parents, and then a room for the kids. So, like, you could even... If you wanted to download this house and have two kids instead of one kid in the house, you could totally delete the the dresser and put another bed under there because yeah <laughs> this house can fit five six sims maybe max but it is only two bathrooms so you gotta remember that um so that's why i said like maybe like one grandparent two kid like, one grandparent two parents and one kid so then it's four and then it's not as bad because like two people per bathroom is a lot better <laughs> um but i try to i also try to use plants all the time in my builds because i love plants i have a bookshelf full of plants in my apartment currently and it is great um i also really love all of the furniture that came with um What's it called? Eco lifestyle. Like I know there's like a lot of people that don't like eco lifestyle um, because there are issues with it and like it low key feels unfinished. But I oh my god the build items are beautiful. Hey, can you please stop trying to get my attention biting my feet? 
She is very jealous right now. I don't know what's up. I fed you breakfast this morning, so you can't be hungry. What's going on? She's just so needy right now. I kind of feel bad. She's just staring at me now. Um, but yeah, I also wanted this house to be pet friendly as well. So like I have stuff for a cat in the living room and then I realized <laughs> I put that down first and then I realized I put down the dog thing in the backyard and I was like, wow, this is not going to work because a dog, <laughs> why do I have dog stuff if it's going to be a cat house? <sighs> She's like pawing at my legs. Oh my God. Hello. What is your problem? I know, you're trying to get my attention. I'll have to go take her to the dog park after this. Because she's kind of going a little crazy. And anyway, this is what the finished house looks like. Um, it is beautiful. And I love it. And I cannot wait to move a family of Sims in. Um, I wish I had room for an actual dining room. That is my one complaint. Is that I didn't make enough room for an actual dining room and i'm sure i could like adjust things the downstairs bedroom for the grandparents is my favorite bedroom of the whole house like the dark brown of the wood with the gr the dark like deep green and the like little bit of yellow and stuff beautiful and all of the plants amazing but yeah this this is the house um i hope you guys like it and it is going to be in the gallery um, I will put the link in the description and yeah, I hope you guys have a great day for more Sims content and general gaming content. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and like, also check out my Twitch if you would like. I will be streaming. I try to stream every Sunday, um, afternoon and then randomly throughout the week I'll jump on, you know? I don't have a set schedule yet. I'm still trying to figure out what I want that to be. Um, but yeah, don't forget to hit that like and hit that subscribe button. And this is the build. Hope you guys like it. It'll be in the gallery if you want to download it. I will drop the link below. Anyway, have a great day. Take your meds, drink some water, and eat some food. Goodbye.